Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video I am going to be drawing this set of characters but in my Arteza sketchbook. Let's go. We might end up going into a time lapse. I am not sure. So, these characters were very quickly sketched with this inky new pen that you'll see on my channel. And it's a bit of a craze for me at the moment. So it isn't going to be perfect. And I've kind of got the reference here on the right. I don't know if you can see it, but I can't move it. Um, onto the screen more, but I'll probably take a photo of it and pin it into the video. So I'm using my new pen that you've seen a video of on my channel called My New Pen, and we're gonna get started. To try and remember how I did this. I will go quiet because I'm concentrating. Okay, so that's one. And I like to do the eyes kind of just closed in a way. It helps it to look for me more realistic than because it's quite small and if you try and do real small detail it kind of ends up for me being ruined. So I just leave it like that. Because the focus isn't actually the face, it is just the character. And getting these swimsuits down. And really I was just doing different um, hairstyles and things to indicate different characters. Got the eyebrows there.
and they are on the beach. Just indicating the texture of the sand with the pen. Okay, so we've got all of that down. And it's it's not too bad. This obviously the other sketchbook was bigger, so I could add um, more detail. Just think these swimsuits were very interesting from I think maybe the thirties was it? Thirties and forties. Probably even the twenties. And then we'll just get the uh, water brush pen, my very beaten up one, must get a new one eventually, and we will just go in. Now what I forgot, we can't actually do much blending with this pen in the Arteza sketchbook because this is a thick watercolour paper and if you want to use these kind of pens you have to put a layer of gesso over the top first and I forgot. So with that in mind we're going to have to Add some colour and I've got some dry paint in this palette it's probably it's mainly Arteza gouache but the white is schmink so we will just start adding some skin tone interesting how pens behave on different paper. See if he's dried. Put some skin tone on him. And you can always go over it again once it's dry. And then we're going to just give him some hair colour. It's all very loose. And make her some blonde shades.
Okay. And then comes this swimsuit. And I think I'm going to be doing them in highlighters. Possibly. Or oh, pens in general. These are the two colours that came to me. If we ignore that yellow one. They certainly wouldn't get lost on the beach, would they, in these colours. We will do green and blue on her suit. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're just getting the idea down. Okay. And then we will just quickly indicate the sand on the beach and then we'll be done. yellow ochre and normal yellow. going to do the sky, the background, because it will deflect from the characters and their swimsuits. So, I hope you guys have liked this quick video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>